like what you say, but I don't think it will work for us. We are already working with someone who handles all of our needs in that area. I've been talking to a few other companies and the university and the place in the field of passion higher. Sorry I'm not interested. I don't know how you get my number, but I'm kind of busy right now. Being rejected by a client can be hard, but how you approach sales objection is the difference between gaining a new client and losing an opportunity. Limiting beliefs in sales can become a huge barrier to reaching higher level of sales success. To overcome sales objections, you need to be extremely confident and overcome your limiting beliefs in the first place. To do that, you have to understand where they come from and why they are so dangerous. Limiting beliefs have many faces, and if someone additionally starts to fuel someone's insecurity, bad things begin to happen, because nothing hurts more than bringing out people's most hidden traumas and anxieties. Imagine that you are going to the beach with a pack of your friends. There's a nice weather, the sun is shining, everyone is having a good time and joking around. When you finally got to the beach and you took off your t-shirt, people start to make fun of you. Because let's say that you are not in your best shape. How you react depends basically on one thing. If you feel good with your body, you have never experienced any unpleasant situation related to your look, you feel confident, you will barely pay attention to any similar comments. Probably you will even start laughing at yourself. People will see you don't care that you have a distance to yourself and perhaps you will gain even more respect. All because you remain unfazed. However, if you have struggled with obesity in the past, you feel insecure and you had painful experiences related to how you look, this is a completely different story. The hidden trauma we knew will immediately reveal itself, even if it has been asleep so far. There's no way that you can be calm in that moment. Even if you will try hard, your inner feelings will expose you and everyone else will notice that too, what will additionally increase your insecurity. The same goes for sex. There will always be people who will try to undermine your confidence and belief in what you do. That's why you need to build not only a logical, but essentially emotional conviction about your product, its usefulness, and essentially about that what you do is right. If you have even the slightest doubt, it will come out when you least expect it and affect your self-confidence as well as performance, your persistent and achieved results. A selling is in the first place a transfer of emotions, hidden insecurities, certainly don't build trust in the eyes of your potential clients and people around you. To inspire trust, you need to project strength and confidence. What personal convictions have you made about yourself that are holding you back? The best salespeople know that's doubts killing sales. Until you face up your limiting beliefs, you won't be able to let go of them and put them behind you. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Your mind is an incredibly powerful thing. Unfortunately, it's designed to see primarily what can go wrong. It's its nature. Doubts and negative thoughts hurt your performance. That's why it's necessary to get rid of them. Sales is the backbone of every business. No business can thrive without sales. Selling is as much important as the quality of the product itself. It's not enough to have good product and service to be successful in today's competitive market. Whether someone likes it or not, believes or not, agrees or not, it's not a receipt for success. There have been many revolutionary ideas and products in the history of the world that turned out to be a failure, while others, although not perfect, achieved spectacular success and brought in return huge profits for companies and people who promote them properly despite the fact that no one was giving them any chance of success. Just look at the brand of mobile phone that you keep in your pocket. Is it a reasonable combination of price and quality? Most likely it's something else, something bigger that made you feel good about yourself. What clothes do you wear? 
What car do you drive? What determines these choices? Although you are probably convinced of the rightness of your buying decisions and you have logical explanation, be sure there's a huge marketing machine behind it that makes you feel this way. And certainly exist much better technical, cheaper and nicer products. But it doesn't matter if you have never heard about them. They don't stimulate your imagination and raise your social status. That's exactly what selling is all about. Right mindset is crucial. Don't let yourself be confused by people who say things that may hurt you. Be aware that most of the companies in the history of the world have collapsed. Among them, those that were leaders and monopolies on the market. Just look around and check how old is an average company. How many of them are over 100 years old? Most likely, not more than a few. And there should be many if things were different. Even the most powerful companies that in the 21st century had very strong market position, sold cameras and mobile phones and didn't go with the time are just a memory. Sales objections contribute to the development of business, help to improve processes, recognize threats and opportunities. And salespeople promote new ideas, implement new technologies, indicate new solutions, inspire people and help them to be up to date with new technologies. Those who think they know everything best are already on the downward spiral, but they don't realize it yet. World changes very dynamically nowadays, and only companies and people who are flexible enough to adapt will remain on the market. Selling is not about flattering clients, but giving them what they need. If you believe in what you do, that you deliver the best product and service, you'll be able to overcome any sales objection. If you have doubts, even the slightest advertisements and unkind comments will kill all your enthusiasm and desire to go farther. Every company that is serious about its future has a sales force. Keep that in mind when knocking on your new prospect door next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you soon.